Learning from others is one of my favorite ways to learn. They inspire you to work harder. They allow you to learn from other people's mistakes instead of your own. And overall, when I look at someone else's app or open source project, it makes me want to try harder. I don't know what it is. And so what we'll do today is go over four apps every developer should see. I'm talking to you. These projects are meant for you to either learn from, take design inspiration from, business knowledge, and finally, maybe stuff like marketing and sales. And hopefully from these projects, at least from what I saw, you know, checking these out, um, they'll inspire you to either get better at one of these or improve as a developer. And by the way, everything here is open sourced. I didn't mean to make them all open sourced, but they are. So <laughs> keep that in mind. Now, the first application we're talking about is cal.com. If you've ever used one of those scheduling platforms like Calendly, you know how cool they are. You go on there, you make your own schedule, and you can send other people the link so that they can book a meeting with you, coaching session, tutoring session, whatever it may be. And so I thought to myself, I don't really want to pay for the Google Calendar. It's costing me maybe like $20 a month. So I looked a little bit online and I found this project called cal.com. I don't know what it's long for, maybe calendar.com. And you can see right now, it's very, very similar to Calendly. They have like these scheduling sessions here. And it's basically like if you've ever used Calendly. And real quick, when we're just logged in here, right? It's a very simple app where you can create some sort of event. So let's just call this tutoring like this. Hello, it's a 15 minute session. You just create and then you're taken over here where you can fix your availability. So let's just save it like that. And so now if we clicked on view public page, you can see over here that this is my link. So anyone can go to this link. You can click on whatever one you want and you're brought to the scheduling. And I know this app may not be the craziest thing in the world. And it's not something that's like a wow factor for anyone because it's just a scheduling app at the end of the day. But what I really liked about this, at least from a developer's perspective, is both the use cases of the app, like the usage of it. It's so easy. It's so well put together but also the design of the app. Like this is the first time I really like light mode. Like I'm not usually a fan, but this just looks amazing. And if you continue to scroll down, you can see they have a lot more things just describing their app, describing their business, what it does. And I think as developers, we can take a lot from this where, where we're not overcomplicating things because making an app in of itself is already complicated. This is a complex app from a developer's perspective, right? You have to make a whole bunch of things like the scheduling, the users, a bunch of things go into it. And the more you do, the more complex it's going to be, which we don't want because it's already complex. You know what I mean? And by the way, there'll be links for everything down below. But cal.com, the lessons we want to take out of this is good design principles. But anyways, that leads us to the second application for us developers to look at. And it's Inbox Zero. Um, I've been using this for the past few days now. And in the most simple terms, a mailing tool where you connect your email to this app and it will give you tools in order to block people you don't want on your email list, block like stuff like cold emails, remove people. And let's just go through this real quick. Okay, so let's say this is from you flowers for my girl. I got, got my girl flowers. Um, let's say I don't want it anymore, right? What I can do is I can just unsubscribe right away here. And I believe that it's more functional, like you're more likely to find the right one. In addition, you can like auto archive where if you don't want something like I don't want the LinkedIn notifications, you can like auto archive like that. Essentially, okay, I'm not a inbox zero expert by any means, but this just lets you manage your emails better. Okay, you have your emails. It's annoying to manage at times. This gives you that ability to get to inbox zero, which is like no notifications, right? And here for inboxzero.com, the main thing here, okay, we've talked about design and feature wise, but looking at it from a business perspective or even the developer sense, this team, whoever made this perfectly executed the solution of solving a need and building something. So if you're like an entrepreneur or you want to start businesses, look at this and say, hey, look, I can probably do something like this. And frankly, this is just a really fun app to use. They also have this cold email blocker here where you can like upgrade. So just a masterclass on development and entrepreneurship where they have an upgraded version, yet their free version is really good. But anyways, that leads us to our third application and it's cover lover, cover lover, cover letter GPT. Essentially, this is an AI generated app where it takes the user's inputs and it creates a cover letter from the inputs. And if you've ever applied to jobs, you know that they need cover letters for each job and it can get pretty repetitive and annoying because it's like 
you know, you have to write maybe two pages of something. And it just gets pretty repetitive. So that's what this solves. And so let's say the job title is developer company is Google. Location is San Francisco. I don't know how to spell it. Copy paste the job description, front and developer. And then upload CV. Let me just that open that. Hopefully it'll work. And generate cover letter. Cover letter is ready. Okay. So it just took a couple of seconds, but you can see, you can see here it says, uh, dear hiring manager, I'm writing to express my interest. Uh, completed CS50 in addition to my CS50 experience. I've also completed free code camp. I guess you can update it. Yeah. And I have that little joke here, which is kind of funny. And again, this is even simpler than everything else in terms of features. This is just one page one feature and they're probably using an api to generate things and it's simple as fuck but it's so so cool if i knew that i could do this as a project i definitely would have liked it and just looking at it i'm like why didn't i do this and like as a developer there's nothing crazy you can learn from this but just use this as like a motivation for you to know that you can build shit you can build simple apps it's not that hard you can always find something simple and this kind of relates to inbox zero in terms of finding a need but this is not really even solving a need it's more so making something super simple and that's what i'm trying to get at something super simple where it's just a one page one feature and that's it and i think if you look at coding from that perspective you will realize anything is doable because you're focusing on one thing it actually leads us to our final application and it's papermark.io um, if you've ever used like DocuSign where you had to send documents to someone through something, you know, it can get a little annoying. And I found this on Reddit. I'm not going to lie. I found this on Reddit a couple of days ago. And I thought to myself, wow, this is actually a really, really cool idea. And once I'm logged in, right, all you need to do is, again, this is just a simple app, which is one page. Uh, let me just add a document. Let me maybe this PDF. Hopefully that will work. Cool. So it worked. Okay. And the main purpose of this app, right? is you have a place for all your documents with links okay so let's say we wanted to create a link let's just load real quick revalidating link and so now you have a link that you can share with people to check out your documentation documentation i'm speaking like a real developer here so you just copy this and send it to whoever you want who needs to see this paper and it'll load so you need the email so let me just put in my email and over here you can see it's fully there and you can do stuff like i guess sign you can maybe give it like a thumbs up a heart and one of my favorite parts is you can actually see the viewers and the data on this app um i'm going to use this app a lot and i'm not just saying this because i'm talking about it but stuff like this i just love and one thing i took from this right and really everything here i've talked from my own experience and what i'm going to take out of it but one of my favorite things about this is the data tracking and the data display I know I've talked about my Nizi Abbey platform a lot and I, I'm moving into different projects, but data display is one of my favorite things. And this is not like the real data. And you can see here 197 users over the past month, $2 from total revenue, but I only have free courses. I was just testing out the payment system and data display is really cool. And Papermark really inspired me to like look at how data is made. And since this is open source as well, um, you can just really just take whatever you want. But yeah, you can just look at your different documents. You can see all the viewers. You can see how it's doing. Maybe you have like a PDF that you have to share with your boss. Stuff like that. That's, you know, kind of annoying, but really cool. But yeah, that is four apps that every developer should see. I hope that one of these will at least inspire you to build something cool. Or you can have an idea for some sort of new application or feature that you're trying to build. I know that I will definitely be using some of them for in terms of design or features. I'm going to be building out a new application now. I'm almost done the starter kit, which I probably would have talked about by now. But yeah, if you like the video, then like the video. It would really go a long way. And yeah, enjoy your day. Happy coding. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.